What's up, fight fans? Uh, just wanted to give you my in-depth perspective on boxing 2015 so far. And um, I'm just going to break it down like this. So far, it's been all right. But uh, from what I've been picking up, it's been the year of the catch weights. And um, I just actually see certain boxes... you know, actually going forward and having a good year into 2016. Um, Keith Thurman happens to be one of them. You know, uh, also have to go with Gennady Golovkin. He just uh, surpassed uh, Mike Tyson's knockout record uh, to 20 and 0. Uh, he can only get better. Um, as well as uh, Chocolito. You know, he was a diamond in the rough. A lot of you guys found him uh, just recently and uh, he to you guys he was a diamond in the rough and um, I've been telling you guys once the Mayweather effect was wearing off and stuff and you guys would actually uh, you know see what other boxing stars are out there you've got Kato who uh, has yet to still want a big fight um, in the middleweight division you know uh, he's got two choices he's got Gennady and uh, he's got Canelo, and he can only go for one or he can go for both. Um, like I said, if he keeps getting easy fights, of course he's gonna have a good year, but in the minds and in the judgment of us boxing fans, hardcore boxing fans, he ain't shit. So it is what it is. Amir Khan is gonna continue to keep doing what he's doing, looking for that big fight. When Mayweather's gone, he's going to be up in Pacquiao's ass. And once Pacquiao's gone, then he's going to be up the next uh, Rising Star's ass, which I which I totally, totally think that it's going to be Keith Thurman on top. So, you know, Keith Thurman has been calling him out. He hasn't wanted to take, take that fight. So let's see what happens. You know, uh, you've also got Errol Spence, prospect. Now... Floyd Mayweather's riding his dick. So, financially and all around, he's going to be in the protection program and he's going to be looked out for. But, uh, like I said before, a couple of videos back, expect Spence's uh, humbleness to be faded away with the money and all that shit. Then you've got Mauricio Herrera. Well, there's a fight coming up with Hank Lundy, and I wish him luck against Lundy. Uh, my prediction is Herrera. Um, basically, uh, UD. Um, you know, we have to stand behind Mauricio Herrera and other boxes that have been robbed in the sport, knowing that he was the victor. You know what I mean? Um, this has to stop. Mauricio Herrera is a very great contender. Uh, to me and to other people, he's the people's champ. So, you know, uh, hashtag come back to boxing, Mauricio. Keep doing your thing. Um, you know, you've got you've got other boxers as well that are actually starting to come up. You know, uh, Canelo as well is gonna have a good year. Um, he he's willing to fight Golovkin. You know, so uh, if he takes Golovkin, that'll be one hell of a match for him. Uh, he can fight Laura again. Laura as well is on the rise. People got to start answering Andretti's call, Demetrius Andrade, Andre, whatever you guys want to call him, but they need to start, you know, uh, he's a champ, man. You know what I mean? He wants to fight, he wants to defend, and you guys got to stop this Al Heyman shit, you know, and you guys need to start taking these fights. You know what I mean? Uh, Anthony Joshua, I expect him to become WBC champ. I expect him to destroy Deontay Wilder when they meet. Uh, since this is the year of pushing premature fights, if that fight is pushed prematurely, I, 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 I've got to go with Joshua on that one. Um, you know, so far, boxing 2015 has given us our ups and downs. We've seen the Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather fight, and that was force-fed to us on some bullshit. It wasn't the fight that we all dreamt for on either side. It was a bunch of bullshit, so hopefully they'll do it again. If not, then Floyd is going to wind up fighting Berto or 
Kareem Mayfield, you know, or somebody else, whatever. You know, I really don't care what Mayweather does at this point, never did. So he can do what he's got to do. Otherwise, in that boxing fans, um, I just see boxing. I just see boxing slowly on the incline, not the decline, the incline. But if more fuckery happens as to last year's fuckery, then we're definitely gonna go on a decline and we're gonna be fucked. You know, um, more competitiveness coming out of boxes is exactly what us boxing fans wish for. That's all we're asking for: competitiveness, especially. A brother my age, a brother from my era, and people, a lot of people with my age and my era that follow this shit, just wish the same thing. You know, we all wish for the same fucking thing. And that same thing is competitiveness, competitive, competitiveness within the sport. Champions defending titles against their mandatories. You know what I'm saying? And advisors staying advisors, and managers staying managers. And promoters staying promoters. Everybody knowing their role and playing their role and just doing what they got to do for us. See, you boxing fans have no idea what's going on. The new guys, the casuals, the fanboys. You guys got to understand that once we drop that mighty dollar into whatever pay-per-view it is or once we flash that channel to whatever station it is, we're in control. Hashtag come back to boxing. That's exactly what it's all about. The consumer, the fan, being in control. So not only do I cover the science, I also cover the fucking politics. I've got a lot of you guys out there that are trying to correct me on certain things like the Ali Act. But the Ali Act was me for exactly what I said. You know, um, you guys are trying to rebut that. You guys are trying to dispute it. All I have to say is just read the Ali Act. Look it up. Google it. It's there. Everything that I've said, it's it's there. So why are you leaving emotional content on my fucking comment section? Like I give a fuck about your opinion. Your opinion is nothing compared to facts. And when I'm spitting is facts because it's coming story from the source itself, the Ali Act. So, so let's stop it. Read the fucking Ali Act and you guys should be satisfied from there on. I didn't change it. I didn't make it. I'm just putting it straight into fruition. I'm letting everybody fucking know that there is an act that protects boxers from corrupt sanctioning bodies and shit like that. That's it. You don't like it? Well then, go see the 106th, uh, the 106th legislative, legislature. You know what I'm saying? Go see them. Go see all them motherfuckers. Otherwise than that, boxing fans, fight fans, my name is Jay Cotto. Just giving you a quick update. I should be catching you all a little later with another video. Otherwise than that, have a great day, fight fans. God bless.